business in the front, party in the back. Well, I really don't have that anymore, though. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Season 2, Episode 2 of Supernatural. Everybody loves a clown, and I don't love this episode. I thought I did like this episode a lot more than I did, and there are elements that I do enjoy about it, particularly the conversations back and forth between Sam and Dean as they are dealing with their own grief. Sam is having his own form of denial by kind of doing what he feels John would do, but he realizes that the last conversation he had with his father was an argument, and that's gonna guilt trip him for basically the rest of his entire career in this entire show. That is eating at him, whereas Dean has a secret. He has so much more than just the guilt of his father's death and the fact that he knows that his father probably sacrificed himself to save his life. He also has a secret that's inside him and they're not alluding to that, but they are going at each other for their own forms of grief and how they're trying to push the blame or push the grief onto the other. All the while there's this weird, not a spirit, kind of a creature thingy that is hunting families. Like it's being allowed into people's homes by the kids and it's killing them. It's their own really weird take on Pennywise and it's not a spirit though because they try to shoot it with rock salt and this proves that its return in season 15 is even more bull crap than it already was. Bad fan service, not even good fan service, bad fan service. There's also the whole carnival thing which it's just the strangest ploy in terms of them trying to figure out what is going on. They get fake jobs there when literally, you've been to a carnival, right? These things aren't big. You can do the whole thing in like an hour or so. They do meet Joe, Ellen, and Ash though, which admittedly comes off as a very disjointed scene. It's a kind of a cool conversation between Ellen. We get to figure out who that is. We see the relationship between Dean and Joe start to build and Ash, has kind of one of the worst intros. We get that he knows stuff, but he's literally just spouting words out of his butt. And then he's like, yeah, I'll take all these papers and I'll put it into the super module computer and build you this thing. It kind of just jumps the shark a little bit in terms of how easy it is to find a demon according to supercomputer. And this is actually something that the show now has never even eclipsed. Like this is such a ridiculous setup in terms of trying to hunt down a demon that I noticed that they never do this again. Admittedly, the Men of Letters probably had something like that, but just stupid. At least that kind of made sense with their money. Yeah, I'm complaining a little bit about this episode a bit, but I think it's just because I remember the first one being so good, as well as this episode has the best recap of any regular episode, I would feel. Obviously, we have always enjoyed the return of the season as well as the road so far. Uh, recaps that they do at the beginning and the end of every season. However, this is a episode two recap and it's edited so well to time by the Changlings brothers, I believe it is. Such good editing. Such a great recap to what's happened in the first episode. It really cements the idea that the brothers went through all of this hell to try and find their father and he's dead. I remember being completely shocked when he was on the pyre and thinking, holy crap, wow, he's actually dead. There's obviously the scene where Dean smashes the back of the Impala, but I just feel that this episode has a lot more issues in terms of it trying to add in this weird clown thing, the Ash introduction. It's, there's a few problems here that are more evident than I remember them being. Now let's take some time and look at the comments that you guys have about this episode. All right, we're gonna start off here with Karen C. Everybody loves the clown. The carnival monster of the week is not super exciting, but I laugh so hard every time I see Sam have to sit in the clown chair. That was a funny part. Other than that, the standout things about the episode are getting to meet Helen and Joe, love them, and the two bro moments, walking down the road, which was a good one, and the end scene where you see See how differently the boys are dealing with John's death, and particularly Dean's two settings of closed off and absolute rage. It's those human moments that make the show resonate with viewers. It's a very good observation. Actually, that's a pretty good observation of this episode. Then we got another one here from Souvenir Success. Recently rewatched two episode two. This episode aged well, in my opinion. Still has some of the creepiest scenes with the clown initially stalking his victims. I kind of disagree because I just didn't find. I've never found clowns scary, but that's just me. 
Considering how the horror suspense elements have been toned down considerably in the recent seasons and for the most part of the last 10 years, it's cool to see what the show was like when it could still unnerve its viewers. Admittedly, the scene where the kid opens up the door and holds out his hand for the clown, yes, I'll agree with you there. That was a well-shot horror scene. Well-written, acted dialogue between the boys as they deal with John's death. A little forced at times, but not as much in recent years. Yes, I definitely agree. I think you will enjoy this episode even if it's not one of the strongest episodes of the season probably will rate it a four or five out of seven well you were right with your first guess and then our last one here from joe malia everybody loves a clown is a good episode but it's the most forgettable episode of season two mainly because the clowns aren't that scary to me and there are only aspects of story in the beginning and the end joe and ellen are awesome as well and season four's opener to me is the best with the introduction of the angels with season two being close second yes i agree with you there and a lot of people have also been saying that i kind of really looking forward to when i get back to season four to see that season opener because a lot of people have been saying that since I made that comment about the uh, second uh, season opener. Thank you guys for giving me your comments. In the end, my rating for this episode is 4 out of 7. It's not a bad episode, but I think just in comparison to the first episode, it just it's, it's a bigger step down than I remember it being, which is kind of surprising because I didn't think it would be this meh. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. And please give me your thoughts on Bloodlust. The first time Benny appears, if I'm correct. But we'll see. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.